many people get their intervention from a practitioner. And so there's two things that seem to be related to the motivation to change behaviour. One is the behavioural techniques that the practitioner uses, which we've heard a lot about today. And the second part is perhaps the bit that's been underestimated, which is the quality of the relationship between the practitioner and the patient. So the more that the doctor or the practitioner tries to persuade, coerce or push the person into changing their behaviour, the more they tend to be defensive and say why they can't do it and why they shouldn't have to do it. Whereas if the practitioner evokes from the person their own personal reasons for change and things they think they can do to be successful, that seems to be associated with actual more change in behaviour compared to a more defensive stance. So people seem to hear what they say, so the more they spend time saying it would be good for me, I could do it, the more they're likely to change compared to if they're being defensive and saying I can't, it's too difficult. If they hear that, they believe it and of course they don't change as much. So I think the quality of the relationship between practitioner and patient is a really important element of behaviour change that might well lead to an improvement in our outcomes.